everyone i hope you all is just doing great today i am here with you your esl teacher amrita so welcome to tissel three minute english today we are going to learn different ways to say I like. Sometimes we fall short of words when we want to say I like something or someone. Okay, expression number one. I'm keen on. So when you like something, you want to know more about it or you have a deep interest on something, then you can use it. I'm keen on. Instead of say I like it, you can say I'm keen on. Uh, for example, you are keen on learning English. So you can say, I'm keen on learning English. Or, my brother is keen on learning English. Okay, expression number two. I'm into it. I'm into it. Nowadays, I'm getting more health concerns and I like doing yoga. So instead of saying, I like yoga, you can say, I'm into yoga. I'm into yoga. I'm into yoga. Okay, so what I want, you should do the shadow technique. While you are watching me and you are learning these expressions, you have to repeat after me, you have to imitate me. And by doing so, it will be helpful for you to remember these things. And make sure you are going to write in the comment box. You will have to make similar expressions in the comment box. Expression number three. I'm fond of. I'm fond of. Okay, it's uh, more polite and you can use it in formal situations as well. So when you are you like something and you are very much into it, then you can say I'm fond of. For example, I'm fond of playing football. I'm fond of singing. I'm fond of dancing. Okay, remember one thing. You can never use I'm fond for or I'm fond about. So are you going to say I'm fond for learning English? No, never use it. Always use of after I'm fond. So I'm fond of eating ice cream. Expression number four. It appeals to me. So you can use this expression when something appeals good to you something sounds good to you for example your brother suggested you to study abroad so you can say yes it appeals to me uh, it sounds good so you can say it appeals to me instead of saying i like going there to study you can say it appeals to me expression number five it's to my liking it's just the, another way to say i like it so you can say it's to my liking expression number six i'm partially to something or i'm partially to someone it means you really like it so it's just another way to say you are really into it so instead of using i like you can say i'm partially to it for example you are on a diet but you really love eating chocolates so someone offers you a chocolate cake so you can say though i'm on a diet i'm partially to eat i'm partial to eat okay i hope you have found it quite useful and you are going to use these expressions in real life situations so instead of using the same repetitive boring phrase i like you like he likes you can use this varied expressions to sound more natural and native speakers like so next time i will see you with some more expressions till then take care bye bye hello everyone Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to TESOL Bangladesh. I hope you all are just doing great. This is Amrita here, your ESL teacher. I'm Vice Principal of Bangladesh Online School. Also, I'm coordinating two courses. One is Creative Writing and Grammar and another one is English for Kids and Moms. Today's session is specially for moms because most of our mothers in Bangladesh don't know how to speak in English with their children. And that is why they cannot raise their children um, 
smartly and they are not so confident. So let's become confident mother, right? So today we are going to learn some beautiful expressions to start our day afresh with our children. So let's learn together, okay? But you will have to repeat after me. I'm going to repeat so that you can listen to me carefully, you can get the input carefully, and then you will have to practice after me, you will have to repeat after me. It will be really helpful for you to keep it in your memory. But remember one thing, you always have to practice, not just during this session, not just during watching me, after this video, you are going to use it with your child. Don't be shy, okay? You are a smart mom and you are raising a smart kid. Just think about it. All right then. So let's learn together. Good morning, dear. Good morning, my child. You can just start like a very conventional way, like good morning, dear. Or good morning, dear child, or good morning, child. But there are some other expressions that we can use. All right, then let's learn and repeat after me. Wake up, child. Wake up, dear. You are getting late. Wake up, child. Wake up, dear. Or wake up, little sunshine. So you can use any name, um, any kind of uh, word, okay, that expresses affection, like my bundle of joy, or little pea, or beautiful doll, bright star. So these are the words that you can use. Wake up, dear. Wake up, my child. You are getting late. Um, if uh, your child is getting late for school, you can use this expression. Wake up, child. You are getting late. Okay, now let's repeat. Wake up, child. You are getting late. Wake up, child. You are getting late. Wake up, child. You are getting late. All right. I hope you already repeated three times. Great. Let's learn another expression. Get up, sweetheart. It's a happy morning. Get up, sweetheart. It's a happy morning. Okay? Repeat after me. Get up, sweetheart. It's a happy morning. All right? Get up, sweetheart. It's a happy morning. Get up, sweetheart. It's a happy morning. You repeat it? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Or there's another expression. That's a little bit rhythmic and it's really good, okay? Wakey, wakey, sleepy birdie. Wakey, wakey, sleepy birdie, okay? Wakey, wakey, sleepy birdie. All right then, repeat after me. I'm repeating thrice, okay? Wakey, wakey, sleepy birdie. Wakey, wakey, sleepy birdie. Wakey, wakey. Sleepy birdie. Okay, so besides uh, these greetings, morning wishes, you can also ask your child, I hope you slept well. I hope you slept well. See, I'm repeating, okay? Uh, for you to understand me clearly, you will have to repeat after me, okay? It will uh, give you a good practice. I hope you slept well. I hope you slept well. I hope you slept well. Great. So these are the expressions and there are more expressions that you can learn when you are going to enroll in our um, English for Kids and Mom classes. Then you will be able to learn with us and practice with your children. All the best. Okay, dear moms, take care. Bye-bye.